Ahoy, this is Zdenka. A couple of weeks ago, I grabbed my camera, drone, and Insta360 camera, and I headed to a small town called Bobcajun, which is located in Ontario, Canada, where I recorded a whole bunch of clips. I only had three hours to do this. Well, in today's video, I'm taking those clips and I'm gonna be creating three different cinematic B-rolls. They're gonna be very different from one another. In this tutorial, we'll talk about music selection, how to find the right music. We'll talk about what clips to choose and in which order, what makes me decide on choosing the clips. We'll talk about storytelling. We'll talk about pacing, working with rhythm. We're gonna talk about the whole creative process. And I can tell you that it doesn't matter what camera you're gonna be using. If you're recording with your smartphone or big camera, any video goes. This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. When I was filming, I had no plan. I didn't even know the place that well. So those are random clips as I was going through the town. Music and editing is what is going to create the actual cinematic B-roll. I have an extensive background in music. I studied music for many years, play different instruments. So I look at the music very specifically. I listen to melody, beats, and I analyze the music before I start the actual edit. For this tutorial or exercise, I chose three different styles of music. The first one is very calm, a very slow pace, sort of a classical. The second one is more of a vacation style, like a holiday, it's a upbeat and very happy. And the third one, it's geared towards younger generation. Uh, it's a future bass with a lot of different changes in rhythm and different changes in melody. Let's start with the music choice number one. I purposely chose piano, not a violin. As it is fall, getting into cold months, plants are sort of dying. It's calm place, it's a retirement home, it's a vacation place, but now taking a break from the very busy season. For those wondering how I found the music, so if I'm looking at the Epidemic Sound uh, homepage, I went to themes, and then under themes, I went to cinematic, and under cinematic, I chose fantasy. The fantasy section has a lot of beautiful cinematic music uh, to choose from. You don't have to necessarily end here, you can click on the music you like and then hit similar and just keep going looking for more music. But I settled um, in this section on this particular song. The final cinematic B-roll with this type of music would be suitable for playing it somewhere, even in a restaurant or somewhere over a fireplace where you can be sipping a glass of wine. Video which doesn't need a complex transition. This is a super beginners friendly and straightforward. Super easy, but can be a bit time consuming because this process you can't rush. You have to be very careful in what order and what clips you are going to choose. If this is done well, it can have a very big impact. Every time I'm thinking about the music and the clips, I'm thinking that the video is just extension to the music. The video is just another instrument to the music. That's how I think uh, when I'm editing the B-roll. This music is very calm and it has breathing moments. So there's a melody and then breathing moment, a melody and then pause, a melody and then pause. So it's calling for some very scenic shots where you can divide those shots either with a fade transition or somehow pause the video with a transition. For this type of music, you want to choose very scenic shots which are not repeating so your viewer is not getting bored so your viewer has time to absorb and enjoy each view this is definitely not suitable for insta360 very fast paced hyperlapse by the way all the clips will be slowed down to 40 percent as everything i was filming was filmed in 60 frames per second i think now would be the proper time to thank epidemic sound for sponsoring today's video Epidemic Sound gives you access to massive library. They own 100% of the music, so you don't have to worry that you receive a copyright strike or take down. And yes, you can use it on monetized channels as well. You can use it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch. The whole list is on their website. You can choose between personal and commercial plans. I've been with Epidemic Sound for a number of years and they always bring 
a fresh music. Epidemic Sound has an exclusive Black Friday offer valid from November 26th, which is today, to December 2nd. Simply enter the code ZDENKA90 to receive 90 days free access to Epidemic Sound. Link can be found below the video in the video description. Any music you will use during the trial will remain the safe and protected. Even if you cancel your subscription after 90 days, free access is over. First four clips will be very simple. Just introduction shots, because the music is kind of the same, the melody is the same. Once the melody changes a little bit, then you can bring a little bit more drama with different clips, even though it is still very slow paced. And once you hear the violin, that's when you can bring something majestic, like drone shots, for example. The first clip is perfectly synchronized with the music. Noticed the notes hitting as the branches are going through. And the second clip is just continuation of the movement, ending it dip to black when it's, when it's low. Since I am behind in the black, I'm revealing it from the railing, showing off the location going up. And then the next clip is a completely different location again, backing up, hiding behind the trees. And that's when I can apply another dip to black transition. From this transition, I'm coming out from the leaves again. So it's just floating one by one. It's slowly taking me, it's kind of going through, but making sure I'm showing different locations. I'm not repeating the clips. They're completely different, keeping an interest pretty high. What made me choose those clips? Obviously I was looking for different views and nice views, but for example, this first clip, as I was pointing out, the melody was hitting and that every time there was a tone, the branches went passing by. So that would made my decision to end it this way, this clip. The second one, yes, I wanted to just continue the movement. I saw a nice location. The third clip, I liked the railing because again, I was coming from dip to black. I wanted to come out from something as well, revealing the location. And that direction was different, was going up instead of going sideways. And the last clip I chose because it was backing up direction and I knew that I'm gonna go back to dip to black. I needed to hide behind something. So I hid behind the leaves. And obviously only natural decision would be to choose a clip where I'm coming out from the leaves revealing the next location. The pacing of the whole B-roll of the clips will change here a little bit. I am purposely choosing shorter clips, giving it a little bit more drama. I want to end the whole cinematic sequence with drone shots. Now, I am choosing clips which will take me back to the lake so I can start showing off the drone shots. I'm thinking of it as a story, even though there are no people in it, these are just the location shots. The logical thinking is as I'm walking through the town, I would like to point out that what made me decide for this first short clip is the little platform there on the lower right corner, the little concrete there. If I was just showing a plain lake with those buildings, it would be just lake with the buildings. But I like the fact that I'm coming, that that platform is kind of hiding and then showing. So it's a little extra, something in a corner which will catch your attention and now it's just a plain lake. Obviously, continuing the forward movement, that's why I chose just walking towards the lake, and then just a plain lake, which will make it easier to transition to the drone shots, because when you are showing off the drone shots, it's a plain lake too. So going from plain lake on the ground to plain lake in the air. However, the plain shot of the lake is actually a shot of this little Island. I know it's an island because they took me there on the boat in a summer and we drove past by so I know it's a little island and that makes my decision for the first drone shots very simple. As I'm showing off this little island on the ground, the next shot with the drone will be island as well. That's a similarity transition between one shot to the other one. Even though it's an island in different locations, those are two different islands, still the brain doesn't have to think so hard. It's not a completely different structure of a place, completely different view. It's somewhat going from one to the other, transitioning from the ground to the air. The drone shots I chose, again, are very different locations. I made sure that those are the nicest views I have from the day. 
I would have a lot more drone shots if I didn't actually crash the drone that day. So this is what I have to work with. I have only a few, but those are the nicest shots. Again, different movement, different directions. And the whole B-roll is actually finishing into dip to black. Now, I want to mention those dip to black transitions. For the beginners, you can adjust the length of them. The first one is kind of shorter because I wanted to make sure that's actually working with the music. The second one is a bit longer because I felt that it's more suitable to the music and I don't want such a hard transition from one tree to the other one. So I made that transition dip to black a lot longer. You just do that by pulling um, and dragging it inside and outside like this. This is how you make it bigger. This is how you make it sl smaller. Then the other transition is a very short here. I didn't want to keep it that long. It's just a divider between land shots and the drone shots. And obviously the last dip to the black to end the cinematic B-roll, I just want very, very slow um, disappearing B-roll. <laughs> I just want it very, very slow going to back. And that's it for the first one. So if this is color graded and right paced, you can end up with something like this. Let's go to music choice, number two. I found this music, which would be most likely a choice by someone who visited this place as a vacation spot and wants to share it with their friends and family who just wants to see where you went. I chose a beat, easygoing music, thinking that most of the people and beginners would choose that type of stuff younger generation perhaps again and I can tell you that this cinematic b-roll was quite easy to make because I didn't have to think as hard in uh, order of the clips or what clips to choose. This is easy upbeat music so easy upbeat cinematic b-roll. What made me choose this type of song is the fact that you can hear the water drops, the water drop. Whenever I'm looking for music for lakes or kind of water scenery or river or stuff like that, I prefer if I find a music where there's already a water sound in it. If I can't hear the water sound, then I add the sound effect. But since we have already the water drop here, that's what made me realize I want this type of a song. And I liked it so much that I decided to download a separate stem, just a, drum, just a drums stem. That's where you can hear the water drops. And that part of the stem, I'm just using at the beginning of the cinematic B-roll and right after I'm adding the whole song. First part of the B-roll is actually on the beats of the drums before I'm playing the actual song. The second clip is continuation in the same kind of a direction. Third clip, again, continuation movement, going kind of sideways and forward. 
showing off this river. And then the fourth clip is lake again, going sideways, hiding behind the branches and the leaves as it is going again to dip to black transition. This one is a little bit longer. Now I'm adding the melody. I'm adding the actual song right after the beats. So the next clip is a big pushback and big reveal. Now, because it's such a dramatic pushback reveal, and when I was filming it and slowed it down 40%, it was quite slow. So I decided to speed up this first part to match it to the sound and then slow down, ease it up. And I used this speed ramp transition. So at the beginning it was sped up 139% and then it went really slow pace. This is how it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna play from the dip to black. And now it's slowing down. As it is going backwards, the next shot is just a drone shot also going backwards. And then I'm just doing creative few different shots showing off different locations. So I'm choosing this drone shot, completely different location, going sideways, and then continuing actually the movement with the city or the lake shot, also going sideways. Then another random clip would be in a city, again, continuing the movement. And as the camera is going up, I'm gonna continue with drone shot naturally, also going upwards. It's much easier for the eye. So if we are going this way up, switch to drone, keep going up. Now the melody is gonna get very fast. This is where you can get very creative. So I am going to switch into the view on the bridge. And again, because we are gonna get into very fast paced melody, and I want to go into the Insta360 hyperlapse, I have to speed up half of the clip. So first half of the clip is just very slow. It's at 100%. The second half of the clip is a speed ramping, is sped up, it's 196% to match the speed of the hyperlapse. And it just continues, that's the main melody. So if I would have more clips, I can just play after a whole bunch of different fast clips. Again, this is very easy. This was not much of a thinking which clip goes by one, as long as you are matching the kind of movement, showing off the nicest views when you are doing dip transition, help yourself by hiding into something and revealing from something. When it's color graded and finished, you can end up with something like this. And again, after the Insta360 hyperlapse, this can continue on and on. But because I was filming only for three hours, obviously I don't have as many clips to work with. Moving on onto the music choice number three. Third choice of music, again, would be the future bass category, something the younger generation would prepare most likely. Starts with the piano, which is very calm. Then the melody starts and beats, which strongly reminds me propellers of the drone. So perfect spot to introduce some drone shots. And then big change and just a variable beats and melody, which gives you tons of options for editing. I'll keep it beginner friendly again, very easy editing, not too much complex. of the music we hear rain or water sound. I think it's more of a rain, but could be water sound. So I decided to choose clips which have running water in it. 
and it's such a slow pace so it's just going slow and nicely dip to the black the first clip is slowed down 40 percent This was a nice long shot where I'm adding the transition dip to black just to separate the rest. The second clip is continuation of the movement. And I didn't speed it as much. I left it the speed only at 80% because I don't want to transition from the, the very, very slow to very, very fast way too fast. So I did 60% first, now I'm doing 80% and then it's going to be real speed. Now the second and third clips are still showing off the little town. Now the next clips would be the drone shots. What made me choose the first drone shot is the movement of the car here on the road. Just adding something as not just a plain drone shot showing off the location. I actually liked the movement of the car and then brought it a little bit closer on this clip, it's where the movement of the propellers is quite pronounced. So here it's nicely coming close to the island. And I'm just continuing with few different drone shots, very different shots, one from the other to keep the viewer interested. And here at this point, the music changes dramatically. So I want to do up close shots because I'm going to be applying a transition I downloaded from story blocks which will have quite a lot of glitchiness in it to help me transition from the drone shots to the insta360 hyperlapse and that's where the hyperlapse begins a lot of movement because it's a main melody some railings going sideways to keep the movement going more of a hyperlapse with insta360 Continuing on the bridge, but here, because the hyperlapse are such a fast pace, I needed to make sure that the bridge clip is also fast paced. So I speed it up 200% here. Now when I play it, it just keeps going fast. And to get out from such a fast pace movement on the last clip, I was using speed ramp transition again. The beginning of the clip was speed ups. I think I speeded it up all the way to 181%. And then I slowed it down to 31% actually. I just use a speed ramping for that. And I don't use really any rules for this. I just speed it up or slow it down. So it works with the music. And there you go. And now it slows down. And then I'm gonna dip it to the black. So that will be the end. And once you apply that glitch transition I was talking about from Storyblocks and apply color grading, you can end up with something like this. you can just grab your camera go somewhere and film for the day record many different views many different movements and once you get back you choose the right music you will pick the clips which are suitable to the music all the magic happens in the post filming part is the most fun part but all the magic happens in the post give a thumbs up if you like today's video and subscribe for more if you have any comments want to say hi you know what to do you can leave it below and i'll see you in the next video ciao ahoy